Hello friends, it's me Salman Shahid Islam. Today I'm here to present second lesson on science for Assam Tech 2019. So let's start. So let's just, let us start with the physical change. In case of physical change, the molecules are rearranged. While their actual composition remains the same, means molecule doesn't change itself, but only the physical state changes like uh, here given some examples the freezing of water means water generally we found in liquid state it changes from liquid to solid state it's the physical change like melting of wax like boiling of water these are generally easily reversible and no new substance is formed in case of physical change and uh, this type of changes are temporary means it can easily uh, can be converted into the original form no energy is produced in case of physical change uh, it involves very little or no absorption of energy means it doesn't require any external energy for this reaction to uh, means for this type of change to occur or it needs very little amount affects only the physical properties means it affects only the physical properties it doesn't change any composition of the compound it only changes the physical properties like shape sh size etc like volume these are all about the physical change let's go to the chemical change <coughs> so here chemical change in case of chemical change molecular composition of a substance completely changes and a new substance is formed means in case of chemical change a new substance is formed in case of chemical change uh, physical change properties may also change chemical properties may also change means its combination of changes in physical as well as the chemical properties then example of chemical changes are like digestion of food burning of coal rusting it uh, these are generally irreversible it accompanied by one or more new substance means it generally forms one or more new substances it is a permanent change uh, in normal condition means uh, in normal condition we we can't change uh, gain the original form of this compound in this type of changes generally energy is produced in the form of light heat or sound then uh, this type of reaction takes place by absorption or evolution of energy so this is all about chemical change so let's go to the rusting of iron rusting of iron means formation of metal oxide on the surface of the iron metal then <coughs> Rusting, uh, rusting is generally formed from a redox reaction between the oxygen and iron in an environment containing water means in the environment where moisture is available means high moisture environment so let's go to some of the chemical reactions responsible for rusting here we can see iron mm, we all know that oxygen is very good oxidizing agent whereas iron is very good reducing agent here in this case two electron of iron released by iron and it's gained by oxygen to give ferrous iron here two plus and in presence of uh, water in the form of moisture in environment it can further go uh, oxidation and it give ferric iron that is plus three iron of iron here given the reactions so let's see what happened after iron got uh, the plus 3 and plus 2 uh, charge after uh, iron got plus 2 charge it reacts with water to give ferrous hydroxide and ferric hydroxide in plus 3 case and this 
hydro uh, ferric hydroxide and ferrous hydroxide this compounds can also be formed in different way also are given oxygen can react with directly with water in presence of four electron it keeps oh negative and this oh negative can directly react with the both uh, of the metal ions means uh, iron ions plus two, plus two gas or plus three gas to give the ferric and ferrous ferric and ferrous uh, hydroxide and this ferric and ferrous hydroxide further undergoes <coughs> dehydration to give the ferric oxide ferric and ferrous oxide means oxides of iron here given some of the reaction there are many reactions involved for uh, this reaction to occur you are given some of the reaction your FeOH hole 2 gives FeO and water and given you are given some of the other reactions which give oxides of iron and these oxides of iron are the rust means this then this then this so let's go to the galvanization actually for protecting the iron from the rust uh, we use different type of things like painting galvanization and many more and galvanization one of the most uh, means uh, usable means most used process for protecting the iron from rusting Galvanization in the process of galvanization, zinc metal is uh, zinc metal is layered upon the iron to protect iron from rusting. This can be done by dipping the metal to be protected in hot molten zinc or by process of electroplating. It also offers cathodic protection. Cathodic protection means uh, when an electricity passes through a metal. Uh, it doesn't electrochemically change the metal zinc layer is corroded means uh, zinc layer is corroded instead of the iron to protect the iron it's uh, there is also some disadvantages means it's not a permanent it is um, temporary process let's go to the crystallization crystallization is a process in which solid is formed the atom or molecule are highly organized into the structure known as crystals it can be to, uh, done with natural as well as artificial process this can be uh, this uh, this caused by the physical change it's a type of physical change such as change of temperature pressure and acidity etc crystallization is a process directed by size and shape of the molecule involved and their chemical properties <coughs> crystals can be formed out of a single species of atom or a different species of ions even large molecules like proteins polymers can also form crystals <coughs> so let's go to let's discuss some of the questions so the first question which one of the following is not a crystal here the correct answer is C that is helium gas next question a change is a chemical change when it is accompanied by energy change of course energy changes formation of new substance yes of course new substance is formed change in chemical properties yes <coughs> chemical properties is also changes so it's all above the above uh, all of the above is the correct answer let's go to the next question <laughs> dry corrosion is also called as here the correct answer is chemical corrosion a let's go to the next question question number four the resting of iron is the oxidation corrosion liquid metal corrosion wet corrosion or corrosion by other gases so it's uh, the answer of this question is a there is oxidation corrosion let's go to the next question for galvanizing iron which of the following metal is used here the correct answer is zinc that is d so this is the end of our discussion thank you all uh.